Hi, my name is Ishmael Sukar. I work with the NJDEP, Bureau of Fresh Water and Biological Monitoring. And this is part three of a three-part training series showing you guys how to report a have, perform site surveys, and collect water samples. In parts one and two, we showed you guys how to report a have and to how to measure a phycocyanin. In part three, we will now show you guys how to collect a water sample and submit it for laboratory analysis. Sample collection and sample survey information can only be submitted by DEP staff or partners with an ArcGIS Online, or AGO for short, account registered with DEP. The Bureau of Freshwater and Biological Monitoring will provide you with the size to sample and will coordinate receipt of samples at the Bureau's lab. What you'll need is a smartphone, a field fluorometer, gloves for safety, brown plastic bottles and labels, which may be supplied by NJDEP, and a cooler fill device. A sampling pool is very helpful, but it is not necessary. Before you begin, make sure you're wearing gloves and make sure you took your fluorometer reading that we showed you how to take in part two of this training series. Once you've done that, you're going to take your bottle and you're going to dip it into the water you're going to submer uh, and submerge it. And you're going to try to fill it three-fourths of the way. Cap it. If you have a sampling pool, it will be very helpful in certain situations where accessing the water is going to be difficult. And again, to use a sampling pool, it's actually pretty easy. Um, all you would do is you just, instead of you know, going on your knees to collect the water sample, you would, same process, you would submerge the water bottle until it's filled. And then you just cap it. And you're going to fill out the label. So the, the date, again, it's the date, time. Um, it was, it's about noon right now, so we put down noon. 12, but make sure it's this is 24 hour format. So example, if it's 1 p.m., you will put 13 o'clock. You wouldn't write 1 p.m. For the water body name, make sure you write down the full name of the lake. So example, this is Rosedale Lake. You would not write down Rosedale. Okay, so you just write down the whole name, Rosedale Lake. The location or site ID is going to be assigned to you. And the sampler is going to be your organization and your initials. And then the fluorescence reading again is the reading that you took, um, in, which we showed you how to take in part two of this training series. So once you've collected the sample and labeled it appropriately, you're going to take your sample and put it in ice. We're going to submit this to the Bureau of Fresh Water and Biological Monitoring within 24 hours. Specific phones app store. So I have an Android phone here, so it's the Google Play Store. And then you're going to search for survey123. So you're going to search for that, and it's going to be ArcGIS Survey123. Um, you just now you're going to install that software. All right. Once you've installed it, you're going to open it. And then it's going to prompt you to log in. Uh, this login will be given to you via DEP. And uh, once you log in, it will take you to this screen. I already have the sample survey ready to go, but for you guys it's going to be empty. So what you're going to do is you're going to press your little icon in the corner, and then you're going to press download surveys. Once you're in this screen, you're going to search for HAB, and you're going to press NJDEP production HAB sampling. So I already have it installed, so I can't install it again. But if uh, you did, you didn't install it, then you're just going to press uh, download right, right next to the name. Once you've opened it and you download it, you're going to press it on the main screen, and then you're going to press collect. All right now that you're at the actual sampling form, you're going to go through and complete the form.
So the first step is going to be to fill in the date and time. So the date is pretty much pre-filled for you. But the time, generally, you're going to open this app after you've collected it. So if you can, please um, match the time on this form to the time you wrote down on the label. Mm -hmm. So let's say you started this um, form 10 minutes after you collected it. Okay, just fill that in. Then on the next form, it's going to ask you which route visited the site. Mm -hmm. So just fill in the selection that makes the most sense for you. Uh, generally, a lot of you guys are going to be either parks or other. So if you're not on this list, you just press other, and then you'll get an opportunity to fill in your organization in the comment. Now you're going to add your location. Generally, all you have to do is press this little crosshair, and it'll give you the exact location you're at. Then you're going to write down the water body name. So for example, in our previous videos, we were at Rosedale Lake, so we would write down Rosedale Lake. Remember, never just fill in Rosedale, always fill in the full name. So example, Rosedale Lake, never just write down Rosedale. So now you're going to write down the site ID or site description. Generally, we will give you a site ID, but just in case you don't have a site ID, you're going to write down the site description. So, for example, at Rosedale Lake, we're at the boat launch. So, boat launch. Then you're going to write down if you observed an algae bloom. Let's say, for example, we did observe one. And sample taken. Uh, generally, you will take a sample if you see an algae bloom. So, you're going to press yes. If the sample's taken, you're going to now fill in the, the form. So the algal ID is actually on your label, so make sure you fill in the algal ID from the label onto the form. Let's say the number was two, three, four, five, six, seven. The fluorescence number is going to be from the fluorescence handheld fluorometer that you were provided with. So let you know, I think it was an eight last time we were there. The depth of the sample, if you just skim the surface, then you write down zero. And if you follow the normal protocol that we normally do, then you're going to write down 0.1. Mm -hmm. Then habitat location. So generally, if you're not on a boat, you are most likely will have taken a riparian sample, which would just mean along the shore. If you were on a boat and you took a sample, then this would be considered an open water sample. And if you took a sample from the very bottom of the water, then it's a benthic sample. So let's just say riparian. In the comments, you're going to write down anything that you believe was not captured by the, the uh, forms above. Um, let's say, for example, there's also a lot of duckweed there. So let, let's just say duckweed present. You'll also write down the organization you're from if you filled out other in the form above. So if you if you did fill out other, you fill out your organization there. This is where you're going to fill in the photographs you took earlier. So you can either take them within the app itself, or you can upload the app. You can either take the pictures within the app itself by pressing the camera button, or you can browse for your photos if you took them already using the folder icon. So you know, just walk through it and just take you know, upload your pictures here. And then the last thing is if you took an extra picture at six, uh, just explain why you took that picture or why it was important to submit to your form. Then you're going to press the check mark button and you're going to press send now. All right, and then now your form is complete. Sampling results will be posted on our interactive map as soon as they are available, usually in two to three business days. Alert levels based on these results will appear as a colored dot on the map. 